drought and famine. Hey, you guys. I'm busted and crusted, but this is a start of a new vlog. This is a new chapter, a new season. Today is August 11th. It is 9.28 a.m. for record purposes. And today is a big day because it's our last day waking up in New Jersey. Like, your girl has finally done it. You've taken the leap of faith. Um, everything that I wanted to happen, happened. How it happened, it was supposed to happen, but your girl is finally moving to Houston. I'm so excited. Like, I really don't have anything to say, like, other than, like, I am, I am so excited for this new journey. I'm like, so excited to um, experience what I have been talking about. I'm about to shed a tear. But I'm so happy, like, that I finally made this happen. I've been saying this for years. My friends knew even my co-workers at work like i've always said it like i want to move to houston and it has finally happened um i wanted it to happen a long time ago like i really got serious at the end of last year um just because a lot of different stuff maybe that's a story time for another time but i got serious i really got serious i want to say october november december 2022 and then it just further escalated like say recent months and it just happened how it happened and i feel like it happened right on time literally it happened right on time when i say everything fell in place it fell in place um when it was supposed to um but yeah um i don't know how i'm even gonna set up this vlog um just because I'm just picking up the camera. I have packed up basically everything. My car is gone. Um, I shipped three large Home Depot boxes. The only thing I have left here is two check bags and my carry-on, which I'm taking on my flight tomorrow morning. Um, so yeah, um, and I don't, I'm assuming this is gonna be the intro. So hi you guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Morgan of Morgan Ashley, where I'm, Girl, I don't even know. This channel, we are gonna try to get back into consistent. The moving, this is the start of a moving vlog, but the decor is coming because when I say I'm literally just going with clothes and shoes into my new apartment in Houston, I'm literally just going with clothes and shoes. I have nothing. I have like some decor pieces and kitchen stuff that I took and like, you know, my skincare, but no furniture is coming with me. I am starting fresh. I am not taking anything from New Jersey. Um, me and my boyfriend have split so my ex-boyfriend but we're in a good place now we're talking um we're cordial i mean we're still in a space together um so i thank god for that uh, just because we spent years together um and he's staying here so he's keeping everything um luckily like i didn't have to worry about trying to get rid of stuff here so um i did want to take my mirror but i just couldn't it was just gonna be too much um i'll get into i think i'll probably do a separate vlog on um like how i packed moving expenses and all that potentially at a later date but i'm not gonna get into those details right now of why i decided to take what i took and how i decided to ship what i shipped and how much all that cost and options and blah 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 blah, blah. that'll be a separate vlog but this vlog will just be the start of us in new jersey and going to houston tomorrow um so it is like i said friday august 11th i 9 32 a.m um i've been up for a while i had to check into my flight um my flight takes flight tomorrow at 8 5 a.m from newark i have a layover in charlotte and then straight to houston i was so ecstatic to buy that one-way ticket um it was literally literally like the best feeling ever purchasing it i didn't care how much it cost i was just like this one way is the start of a new life a start of a new journey a new season um whatever you want to call it i'm just so excited i'm so excited you guys have no idea um but today i'm i'm working um i didn't really take time off of this just because it happened so fast again um i mean i guess i can give you a little detail but I have been talking about this forever as i stated earlier 
I've been I got serious at the end of last year um, I potentially I would have wanted to stay with my job and thank God it worked out I was waiting for months once I finally submitted this request to HR and found out that this is well I originally found out that this could be a possibility because um, someone at my company had done a tub uh, a transfer an internal transfer from New York to Houston and once I found out I was like oh it's go time we want to do this I submitted my request back in May and literally it took four months like I was like oh my gosh um it literally took four months but like I said I feel like everything happened when it happened because when I finally got the approval it was like a week or two after basically we had broken up and I felt like it was God's timing like it literally I got the approval when I was supposed to uh, it it happened how it happened and that's how he wanted it to happen okay um and literally thank god like i was like okay i gotta get serious about this and i still was applying externally interviewing um i think i had a couple things lined up but i would have preferred to stay with my company i've been with them for april was 10 years and i mean i i love my company i'm making great money i was not going to make that in uh Texas and even if they decide to, to reduce my salary that's still a potential outwear um it's still gonna be making more than what I've been made in Houston <laughs> let's just say that um so yeah but what was I going with this I don't know I like my head is all over the place I'm sorry if I'm just talking but um again I'm just trying to give you guys background as to um I submitted the request in uh, May I finally got it August I was looking at apartments because like I said a week or two before I got the approval we had broken up so I was like I gotta figure things out I was gonna I was gonna move and move and tell my boss like can you give me like 90 days or something to find a new job but, like I gotta go um so I was started to look I used an apartment locator again I'm gonna go into detail who I used and all that and I think in a separate video but using apartment locators I have my good girlfriend shout out to Lauren um who she's from and uh lives in houston um still we went to college together let's go johnny st john's but um i used her as a resource as well like just looking at different properties and researching the areas and also in the back of my mind i always like let me make sure it's still in close proximity to um if i were to get my transfer approved that is close to our office in houston so i always had in the back of my mind um so i literally for a week and a half i probably looked I don't know even how many properties like literally looking at the property going through their website going through the google reviews like literally reading everything because yeah um and then also the amount of rent um people say houston is cheap but um houston is a new Atlanta sweetie and the right prices even though they're popping up um apartment complexes left and right if you want to be in the inner loop like in the city of houston not the suburbs like you're gonna still have to pay i mean the rent is still technically cheaper than new jersey new york but i'm over my budget than i wanted to spend um just because i felt like i'm going to the south bigger bank for my buck yeah i don't know maybe we'll get a deal and also i'm moving in the summer so that's something that i know is people raise prices in the summer because more people move in the summer but anyways yeah um but i finally found a place or i narrowed down to four places um was getting feedback for the apartment locator that i was using and my and lauren and literally literally when i was like i want to pull the trigger i want to pull the trigger i was like let me just try to wait out because i told my boss i'm like can we reach out to hr da, da, da. literally like that monday where i was like should i pull the trigger should i pull the trigger she slacked me monday morning i have good news she's from hr she was like i have verbal approval i was like god's timing when i tell you it was god's timing oh when she told me that and like the move is like she can be flexible like hr gave her the verbal like it's flexible when you want to move literally that next day i decided what that night i decided on their complex i i um I um say I approved Monday I applied Monday night and that Friday I finally I got the approval from the apartment um and yeah that was literally basically last week literally last week um 
it happened so fast but it just happened at the right time and i was ready i've been talking about it forever so i was prepared um regardless um so yeah that's that's the life update um uh i guess i can show you guys what i have left here like my god the decor is staying but like and i don't have um my tripod it's not like i'm holding my camera oh the tears don't like that so literally my draw i mean both are things he's keeping like a weirdo but literally my draws are empty here um this is my carry-on that i'm taking with all my expensive bags sunglasses and jewelry we are not playing don't mind the junky thing but my drawers are empty like empty say hi levi and then the closet this was i'm gonna have bags here i have bags of sunglasses here i have my perfume on this side i had my shoes up there up there and this was all mine but this is all empty he already moved his stuff just to because his stuff was packed in here but just to even it out because um i cleared this out on uh sunday i think yeah sunday monday i cleared this out so all my stuff is gone i had just wa watched this i wore this two week it was in a dirty clip excuse me i have the hiccups now but that is the only thing of mine left in this closet excuse me and then as far as the bathroom so these bins were all of here like he's already started to do what he wanted to do love that for him um but say like most of these were filled with my stuff i think he had like he had like one <laughs> this is like all my products left that i have but again down here was i had two of these down here they were both filled with my stuff one was skincare one was hair products but as you can see nothing is left um these are shoe racks two of these are in the closet in the bedroom and um in the coat closet but he's gonna throw those away that's fine and these are my two check bags that i'm taking um this is just the leftover of my clothes and some shoes um so that's what i'll be taking tomorrow and that's it like again he's keeping all the furniture and everything um i am taking all of this like i'm gonna just use my louis neverfull oh whoa chargers and important documents or whatever um the only thing i'm mad again about i wanted to take this chair and i wanted to take my mirror but whatever it was just too much but my desk is gone my monitors were in my car when i shipped it um i think he's keeping that chair again i can't take that stuff um that's pretty much it you guys this is clothes that i wash i need a pack and a carry on check bag i mean i had shoes i had shoes all the way down here um they're all gone this is all him and then luckily all my um when i got serious like um i need to figure this out i had brought all my like big coats boots and stuff to connecticut to my mom's house so that this probably was the first closet that was pretty much empty of my things and then i took my i did take my blender my pressure cooker um as far as like household stuff but everything else is pretty much staying i don't i didn't have room for it um i decided not to do a u-haul truck or anything um so yeah but that is it you guys um as far as like what i have hmm, i hope y'all didn't see me <laughs> i have no pants on but that is it um oh and here's like my airport outfit that i'm gonna wear tomorrow it's just some cargos and a t-shirt to be comfortable um but yeah that is all that's left in here in New Jersey. Um, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Like, I'm just so excited. Oh, you guys have no idea. But it's been about 14 minutes, 15 minutes at this point. Um, I will update you guys. I'm probably in the morning. There's nothing to show today. Like I said, I'm working. All my things are basically packed. Um, yeah. So I guess I probably will more than likely see you guys at the airport in the morning if you guys want to come on this journey with me and are excited to see you know how i'm going to decorate my apartment my new life in houston 
Um, I mean, again, I just got a long-term relationship. I'm out looking to date. At this point, I really want to, like, a year for myself and get Morgan together. Um, but you never knew, never know, okay? Um, potentially some dating, who knows? But that is not a priority, okay? Um, the priority is working with Morgan. Um, living the life that she has been talking about for years, literally years. Like, my friends text me, they thought I was taking flight today. Like, good safe travels, like, um, one of my friends was like, are, are you nervous? And my other friend was like, um nervous morgan has been talking about this and manifesting this for years like why would she be nervous if anything nervous is not the only thing i'm nervous about is this american flight chow why does american flight two days ago on the i booked my ticket a week ago two days ago they put a travel alert on my flight for tomorrow i'm like for why and it was like travel alert due to potential um severe weather or outside circumstances i looked at the weather child the rain First of all, there was no weather in the weather app. Then I went to weather.com and did the hourly. So there is like 46% chance of rain in Newark where the airport is. But it's later in the day. My flight is at 8 a.m. Sweetie, what? So that is the only thing I'm nervous about. But God got me when I say God got me because literally everything I was worried about at, through this packing and shipping and journey, he has worked out in my favor. He has had my back. Had my back, okay? Um... From my boxes, what I thought it was going to cost via UPS to ship in my car and me anxious about me putting things in my car and what the shipper could say. Chow, he has had my back every step of the way. Um, so I know I'm going to get on that flight at 8 a.m. Or I'm going to board. It's boarding us at 7.30. I know I'm going to get in that flight. And I know I'm going to make it um, to Charlotte with no problems. I'm going to catch my connecting flight and we are going to go to Houston. My check bags when I get there on time like I said God got me he has worked everything that I was worried about through okay but that's the only nervous thing in my body but everything else is excitement um I'm just I'm anxious to like just let's let's start this let's get let's start this um but yeah like I said I'll probably check in in the morning with you guys at the airport and yeah if you want, like I said, if you want to see this journey, make sure you, at this point, why not, uh, hit that subscribe button, like this video so far, you know, why not, but we are back, hopefully, and hopefully there's a Las Vegas vlog out before this one, um, that me and my friends went to go see Usher, <laughs> like, July 4th weekend, so if that is out, go watch that, um, you know, but after this one, but anyways, um, yeah, I'll see y'all, bye. Bye, boo-boo, I'll see you later, Kay. You're gonna love your mommy forever and ever and ever and ever. We've been looking busted since we started this moving process, okay? Nails broke, cracked. There was no point of getting them done because we were moving. We can get them done in Houston. But you guys, we have finally made it to our home. Um, I'm still processing the home. Um, so if I'm like lost for words, that's it. Like nothing's wrong with it. It's what I expected, but I just feel like I thought I was gonna get a little bit more space in the living room area and I don't have that. But I mean, I'm okay. I knew what the square footage is, so I'm not mad at it. And I feel like I've seen people who have smaller spaces or have less to work with that decorate it and can bring it all together. So that, in my mind, that's all I need to do. And it's only me, so that's the most important part of it. Like, I don't need a lot of space because it's just me. I mean, it's technically like my first apartment by myself. So again, I don't need a lot of space. Um, I have a great size bathroom. I feel like great counter space, a great counter space, like when I'm doing my makeup. And the closet is gonna work for all my clothes. So those are the most important things, honestly. Um, that's like, honestly, why I'm like, okay, it's, it can work. Um, and then also when we're thinking about electricity, um, let me close this. When we're thinking about electricity, as you know, I feel like Texas is gonna be like, 
feel like I'm gonna be in a rude awakening, but I feel like I'll be okay because I have my ceiling fans on right now in the living room, in the bedroom, and I'm okay. Like, it's not, um, I feel comfortable. Like, I'm comfortable. I'm not hot or anything. So, thank God for that. Um, what else? So, we flew in to Bush. It took me about 25, 30 minutes, I feel like, to get here. And then when I, and mind you, I'm lugging all these bags. Luckily the Uber driver, he didn't help me at the airport. Talking about he ain't know that was me. Sir, I waved to you, okay? But um, he helped me bring them to my apartment up. Cause I was like, can you help me? Cause I, I don't know how to do this. Um, and so the guy that I, the leasing specialist that I actually was dealing with before I moved, he was here. So worked with him with that. He did, that probably took like an hour, I felt like. I don't think he was they were prepared um but everything worked out fine um we have our keys they don't have my mailbox key though um but that's fine i'm sure i don't have any mail but um the apartment is cute like i said if i'm just still a little loss of words i'm just still processing it and also just processing that this actually happened i made this happen i've been manifesting this forever it is it's here we're, we're in it um yeah, so I have nothing. I'm literally here with, you know, my three, my two check bags and my carry-on. Luckily, I have my blow up bed, which I'm about to make because I have nowhere to sit. I don't have nothing to do. My car is like three hours away still. Um, I think it's gonna be delivered today, hopefully. It better be, because um, I need a car. I can't do anything in Texas without a car, if you wanna be real. Um, what else? My electricity is on. Xfinity comes and does my, does my Wi-Fi tomorrow. So like I could be on my, I mean, I guess I could use my phone as a hotspot, but mm. let me see what else. Let me see what else. Oh, I don't think I said this yet, but I do not think I'm going to do an apartment tour. Also, there's not a lot to, not a lot to tour. <laughs> let me stop. I'm very grateful. I am very grateful. Um, the it's clean it's i feel safe in the area so that's all that matters but um i don't think i do apartment tour because i mean i feel like you guys see you'll see it while i'm vlogging and going through this um moving you know the moving this is going to be a moving series i guess like doing decor and furnishing my apartment and i'll probably show you room by room by room of what i'm going to do and i also i mean i feel like no one is checking for me but just a safety concern just because you never know i feel like you can already see features that sets my apartment if i'm out from other apartments and you can if you've been looking how i was looking at apartments you know like oh is that that building because they have that so that's another reason why i'm not gonna do that because i feel like if you know you know anyways by just certain features um so i just not, i don't feel comfortable enough to do like an empty apartment tour um you'll see it as i go that's how I feel. So I apologize if you guys want to see an apartment tour. I'm not gonna do that. Um, what else? What else? I don't know. Um, Lauren, who's, I don't know if I mentioned this. Lauren, my good girlfriend from college. She lives in Houston. She's born in Houston. She came back to Houston after college. She's supposed to come visit me today. Um, and she said she would take me out to get some stuff too so that's a i'm happy we, i'm happy and thankful for that because again i have no car i can't get around um and i can't really do anything like my first business in here is to clean even though it, it is pretty clean but i just need to do my own deep clean uh, mind you he put in a work order for he came up uh, the leasing specialist came up here before i came up here to check to make sure everything was okay he pointed out the bathtub um but it just looks like residue from the cleaning products i mean i'm gonna go through it anyway even though he still submitted an order for monday but the ceiling fans needed to be clean like i'm sure the resident before did not dust so yeah but other than that everything was good um uh, i'm very hungry i have not eaten anything today besides those biscuit biscuits on the airplane um and as you guys saw i left from newark airport i had a late or i took american airlines i y'all 
So mind you, it's like, it is what it is. I had to bring my stuff however I could fit it. Um, why I wanted my check bag is 75 pounds. I mean, it is what it is. I'm glad it got here on piece because it was busting at the seams. I had to pay that $100 overweight fee, but that's fine. I have my things, okay? But um, I had a layover in Charlotte for like, say 30 minutes, if that. And then I flew into Bush. So, yes. Um, then I really don't have much to say and I don't wanna just talk to talk, but I'm excited for this journey. Um, I'm excited to decorate. Um, I'm just excited to have my own, my own, my own. So I'll probably check in with you guys later. Um, I will show you the bathroom because I'm excited. See, it's like things that I want to show you guys. It's like you can know, but like the tub. Hello, I love this tub. Oh, it's like a. I think I don't know, but it's deep. It's very deep. I love the top and then the mirror, like, hello. Yes, love the mirror, love the um, lighting around the mirror. Um, this is what I had on today. Threw my little wig on, I have my Tom Ford Old Sunnies. Um, this graphic t-shirt is from Cotton On. I put this slit on. And then these cargo pants from Zara. And then I had on my Fendi, um, these dad sandals. You know, this is like my third or fourth time wearing these all summer. It's so funny. Um, that was the airport fit for the day. Um, obviously, no makeup. <laughs> uh, my personal bag was my Louis Never Full. And yeah, that's it. Like I said, I don't really have an update. And I don't feel like talking right now. You know, I would love to talk to you guys, but I'm hungry, so I have a headache. I'm about to make my little blow bed and probably order some food. Um, so I'll check in. me in this position i feel like for most of this video just because we don't have anything to sit on we legit only have our blow up mattress but today is the next day obviously i did not pick up the camera at all today because i was aggravated because i'm not getting my car until tomorrow i had all expectations to have my car saturday that didn't happen so i'm like at least i'll get it on sunday but that didn't happen finally got in touch with the person and he's like oh well the dealership there's cars on here from dealerships and they're not open on sunday so you're not gonna get it till monday nothing i could do i mean the positive in this situation is that it will be delivered here instead and not lauren's house i should have brought you guys along yesterday when lauren stopped by um we explored the property i saw the pool um the garden area the rooftop deck what do they call it a sky I don't know, but I didn't. And then it was so funny. She brought me to HEB and I picked up some groceries. I can show you guys what I bought, not a lot. And then, um, what else? Oh, well I had three big old boxes, these boxes. I had them shipped to Lauren's house. Those two boxes are legit like shoes, like my expensive shoes that I want to keep some of the boxes in. And this is just random um, shoes that are like in there that I, um, you know, don't have boxes, boxes for anymore or that I threw the boxes away, like Milan Von sneakers and just kept the, um, the dust bags or whatever. Um, so she dropped those off too. Um, what else did we do yesterday? Oh, when we came back here and did the groceries, we actually went, cause I put an air tag in my car so I could track it, sure did. Um, we actually went to go, we basically pulled up on my car. Um, and yeah, it was 
It was dark, so I'm assuming he ran out of the hours that he could drive. I'm assuming, or the dealership was closed. I don't know, but I really wanted my car today because I planned on doing stuff today. And with tomorrow being Monday, it's like the whole day I'm working, so I guess I can go after work. The good positive is that I'm still on East Coast hours, so I'll technically be done around four o'clock here. So that is a positive in this situation. Um, what else? So it's 10.38 p.m. Like I said, I did nothing. I just took a shower. I was a dirty little whore. <laughs> um, let me actually put that out. I was dirty. Um, I hadn't taken a shower since what, Saturday morning, early morning when I took my flight. But I have no shower curtain, have no towels. It's like I, don't want, I didn't want to buy towels if I didn't really like them. I did buy bring a washcloth and like soap from Jersey, so I had that. So I used the washcloth to shower, obviously, and just bring it out and dry it off my body and let the fans dry me. And there's water all over the floor, but there's nothing I can do. I need to wash my body. Um, I can show you guys what I have done. Again, there's nothing in here, obviously. Um, that is those boxes. So start here in the little pantry. So I bought some plastic forks and spoons and knives, trash bags, paper plates, paper cups. And from HEB, I didn't get anything in the freezer, but I did get some mixed fruit. Uh, it's just strawberries and pineapples. I bought some sushi. I probably should eat this. Probably just eat this now. Cause you know sushi, you can't really keep it. Um, and I had another one. I had spicy salmon that I ate today. This was spicy yellowtail and tuna combo. Um, this was free with the purchase of um, the um, sushi. This was a spicy crab on Gary. So I'm not gonna eat that. And then I had ordered Uber Eats last night. Um, and it was like a chicken quesadilla. Oh, I still have some chicken quesadilla and some tacos. And this was a dressing for that. I had gotten some watermelon. I ate two pieces today. Cause we still, we gotta get back on it cause girl, I feel big all over again. And then I got a kale salad. Lauren said this is really good. It has kale with cranberries and pepitas. I don't, I don't know what that is. But hopefully it's good. And of course your girl, we had to get some wine. So I got some Josh uh, Rose. And then I picked up some Rose Prosecco from La Marca. And what else did I get? Um, I had gotten this fresh pressed uh, lemonade. And then just a case of water from H-E-B. And that was pretty much it. Um, nothing is done. I mean, mind you. So that was the water. Uh, what else? In the bathroom, I finally took out some stuff, like I said, water on the floor because I had to take a shower. And mind you, I'm so mad because the bathtub technically wasn't cleaned. So and that was like my plan today. Like I'll get my car, go get cleaner products and clean for the rest of the day. I couldn't do that. Um, don't mind, I ain't got no bra on my girl, whatever. But it's like I had to shower. I was, I stunk. Um, eating sushi, like, traveling all day yesterday, I had to take a shower. So luckily I brought soap from home. And like I said, I had a washcloth. I, take a, I took a washcloth from home um, that I'd be selling from the hotels just because I like the little white ones. I feel like these are good, like going to the gym. Uh, my nails are still a hot mess. I wanted to do this today, but I was in no mood to do anything because of my car situation. I laid some of this, I mean, this is obviously not staying like that. Um, I'm still in my little um, cot situation here on the bed. Uh, the good news is, and then this, I have nowhere to put my clothes. I did empty out my carry-on. That's the good news. And um, those, the carry-on had all my expensive bags, all of my sunglasses and my like expensive jewelry. So... You know, she's a Chanel, Chanel, Chanel girl. 
Uh, but that's like all I did today. Um, that is empty. Um, and then that pile of clothes is dirty. But yeah, the positive, like I said, positive is I got Wi-Fi today. That's the one positive came out today. So I'm able to use my laptop. I was looking for beds, but I've literally been sleeping in and out all day and I deserve it. I've been like in a whirlwind. I had a headache for like the last day and a half, just like stressed and, you know, trying to get moved in. And now it's like stressed to like trying to furnish this. It's like, I don't know what to do because of the space. It's so, it's not even, I don't know. I'm not even gonna get into it. But um, yeah, I just wanted to check in with you guys. So I can try to be, document this process. There's not much going on, guys. Um, I'm about to eat that sushi, pour me a glass of rosé. I'm, it's 10.43, I'm going to try to wake up to go to the gym in the morning. Um, but technically I'm gonna have to start working at what? 8 a.m. because it's gonna be 9 a.m. New York time. Um, so if it's 11 now, I'm gonna try to get a bra. Luckily, the gym is literally downstairs. I did see LA Fitness and I still have my membership from Jersey, so it's very close by. Oh, but we have no car to go there. So luckily my gym does have a Stairmaster. That's another thing that I was looking for when I was looking at apartments. <laughs> um, so I can do that. So I'm gonna try to wake around to like 6, 6.30, go to the gym for like an hour, try to do like um, 45 minutes on the Stairmaster. I don't know if I can, I've been out so, I've been out of the gym for basically, you would call it a month now. Um, ridiculous, um, but do the Stairmaster maybe for 20, 25 minutes and then do incline walk for the rest. I'm gonna try to push myself to do 30 minutes, but yeah. But yeah, you guys, that is all that is going on. I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Hopefully we'll have a little bit more excitement. We're out of this apartment. Hopefully we get our car tomorrow during daylight still. And then, well actually it could be, just get my damn car tomorrow so I can go get cleaning supplies, a shower curtain, at least the lining so I can take a proper shower. Um, I need to make a list actually. Maybe I'll check in with you guys in a little bit when I make my list on what I wanna do or need to get for tomorrow. But until then, if I don't come back, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, did I turn this all on? Okay. It is 9.14, Monday morning, August what? 14th. I'm back in the same position. But I'm finally doing this, the um, inventory condition form. For this apartment, I need to turn it in by today. Um, I went all around the apartment, checked everything. I feel like everything works and start. Um, I feel like everything works, no issues. Um, the only thing I think I marked on this form was the handles on the refrigerator and this island. One of the drawers is a little tough. Other than that, I think everything is fine. Mm -hmm. but happy Monday. I'm so rude. Hope you guys are having a wonderful whatever day this comes out. <laughs> but last night's sleep was fine. Um, I can't wait to get like pillows. My neck is sort of crook, but the mattress, the air mattress has been fine thus far. I've what, spent two nights here so far and they've both been fine. Um, no issues. I, I haven't heard any loud noises, anyone from next door. Um, I have a next door neighbor this way and I have people above me, I'm assuming. I don't have anyone to the right of me, I believe. Um, so I haven't heard any loud noises. The only thing is the train. I did hear the train do the little toot toot at like six in the morning, um, 6.30, but that was it. I can really sleep through that because I grew up, my house in Connecticut is by an airport. So very close, like five minutes. And I always got, you know, accustomed or conditioned to airplanes. And I'm sure I'll do that with the train. Um, so yeah, that is it. It's a work day for me. Like I said, it's 10, 16, and 8 in New York. Um, so I need to hurry up and try to log on. I've been checking emails in my Slack. Nothing's really going on. It's not Monday. It will be a slow start. But I know I want to, um, I don't have anywhere to sit in here. So I think I'm going to probably, um, like, wash my face, brush my teeth, put on some, like, clothes, and my wig 
because I do have some meetings today and go to um, a little coffee shop that's attached to my building and or the little working areas that they have in this building. So I'll probably do that for a few hours and then come back up here for lunch and then determine how the day is, maybe go back down there, just work from the little air mattress. I don't know. Maintenance is coming because when I moved in, I think I told you guys the bathroom wasn't cleaned. And at this point, since I have no cleaner products, I'm gonna let them clean it. Um, <laughs> Cause I did take a shower, but um, you know, it needs to be cleaned anyway. And then the fans need to be dusted. And I actually just submitted another, um, the leasing specialist did that, but I just submitted a work request for the vents. The vents, this vent right here near the entryway is like really dusty. So they can do that. And it's really high up, so they can do that. And then the vent in the bathroom, it's just like these two. This one, I mean, it's not that bad. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. How do I zoom in again? Um, so it's just like little specks. I don't think it's so dusty. I don't know if that's on the vent, but they can wipe that down. But all the other vents, I feel like we're okay. Um, this doesn't look too dusty. And then the vent in my bedroom, that looks fine. There's nothing in the closet but these two in the living room in the kitchen I feel like are fine like I'm not gonna be OD for them but those two like are visibly dirty that need to be cleaned so we're gonna get those cleaned so I need to um just fill this out so what did I say it feels like everything was working um I'm about to, what is this, the kitchen, the island? So the island. Yeah, so oh, let me check the sink. It's like, I don't know if the dishwasher and stuff works. I'll make note of it because it's like how am I supposed to how am I supposed to say that stuff doesn't work like let me check that so this is what we got home this is an old dress from Zara and these Zara flip flops that are like leopard print in my wig have a meeting in like eight minutes so I mean it's nothing actually I need to hurry up and go downstairs. I'm hoping it's cooler because I'm actually very hot right now. Um, very hot. Every time I pull away. Back in our same position. <laughs> so I am back. It is 1:55 p.m. I've been in the coffee shop this whole time working luckily been very productive so that's the positive um i just came back to the apartment maintenance has not come um hopefully that's getting done today i have no update on my car which is annoying um the coffee shop is cool wi-fi was no complaints with the wi-fi service out of coffee i got a ice caramel macchiato it was good um it was like seven dollars though so yikes um, I didn't get any food. I'm starving. I haven't eaten anything all day. So I'm probably going to eat. I have two tacos left over from Saturday. So I'm probably going to eat that. Um, I'm still working. I have one more thing for work um, that I have to do. Well, that I need to send out today. Um, well, two emails actually, and then I should be in a pretty good position. Like my weeks, hopefully, should be pretty quiet. I'll just take um, any 
anything that comes in is probably what I'll be doing for the rest of the week. Just because anything pending has sort of been taken care of. Lunch. This taco, it was like a burrito, burrita taco. And then this kale salad. I think I showed you guys what I got from HB yesterday. But the kale with cranberries and pepitas and some water will be the lunch um, and working so yeah we just got our first package i had to go outside and hunt it down from amazon this is our toolkit lady craft a 44 piece toolkit with a cordless screwdriver I literally ordered this this morning. This is it. And she's purple. I mean, I really don't care, but I wanted a electric screwdriver. Oh my gosh, and everything off. So, oh, I don't know. So. We have measuring tape, we have these things, we have that, we have a hammer, we have, uh, what is this, uh, um, make sure it's leveled, our electric screwdriver, this is like putty stuff, this is, uh, I think this is a box cutter, these are our little different thing, tools to use and that, some scissors and then some screws and the different heads. That's that. It's so cute. Let's see what I catch. That shouldn't have been in there. Bitch. Yes, we she gonna start paying us. Because we be giving her free content. <laughs> Hello? Don't you try to bite that? You know I'll fuck you up, right? Stop cussing. Hi dad. Child. We all got that one ghetto friend. What can we say? But <laughs> I'm back again, same position because, of course, there's nothing changing as far as furniture. So, for dinner, we ordered. Oh, and I haven't been doing anything. I've been browsing on my phone and the computer for furniture ideas. But for dinner, we're eating Killian's. Killian's? Lauren recommended this. I got the three meat barbecue plate. I got moist brisket, pork ribs, sausage with baked beans and potato salad. Mm, yeah. What is this? Some pickles and onions. Some baked beans. And this is a potato salad, which looks very interesting. Some barbecue sauce. And this kimono, since I know it's cute and some might inquire, it's very, 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 very old Target. <laughs> oh, you don't get a lot of food because this was $28. So, I mean, meat, I guess you do. I mean, I guess I can. This is probably gonna last two days. Me, probably tonight, but no. So that is all the food. It looks good. Let's taste the sauces. What is this? Mmm. That's like a honey barbecue sauce. I'm like, I don't like that one. I don't like that one. This one tastes good. This one actually might be good on the pork rib. Ooh, the bone. The bone fell off. Let's do a little bit. On the pork rim. Yum. Tastes good. Get that smoky barbecue feel. Worry about your fucking 
TikTok, Instagram, YouTube video. And mind your business. And don't worry about my fucking child. Spicy. Efficient, friendly service, you know, deliverable care, easy retreat order. He gets a tip because he didn't even call me. So. They do not make my stomach upset though. Mm. Big beans. Good Big beans. Fire. Mmm. Mmm. Good. Amber Alert today. I heard Texas. Oh, yeah. Her Texas has a lot of Amber Alerts, but it's my first one, so I would hope they, you know, don't have Amber Alerts. But the world we live in. Mm, 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 whoa. Cold though, so I'm gonna warm it up. But I'm not about to sit here and eat. I just wanted to show you guys my food. So, mm. <laughs> good morning, happy Tuesday. It is like nine something in the morning. I think it's like nine o five, nine o six. I just threw on. <laughs> This Target dress that I had, and just like a black, a black knitted Target dress um, that I got in New Jersey, literally like two weeks ago. Um, this was pretty expensive though, it was like thirty-five dollars. Like Target, let's slow the pricing down. And then I have on these white, sorry, these white um, Ted Baker sandals. I'm literally going back to the. Um, they have these cute little gold detailings. It looks like the leaves to me. And then the white leather has like stitching and stuff. But I got these on sale on Ted Breaker's website. I just thought these were cute. I wanted a white Birkenstite. I wanted a white light. A, I wanted a white Birkenstock like sandal. And I found these and I thought these were super cute. Um, I got these like a few months back. So I thought these were really cute. And I've never seen anybody with these. So yeah. But again, there is no update as far as my car. So that is why the home content is like not coming. So I don't even know if I could call this a moving vlog at this point. Cause there probably will be no, well, I mean, I moved, but like, you know, the decor, the fun stuff that y'all probably want to see is not coming until probably this weekend or whenever I get my car. I hope I get it today so I can do run around, um, and look for especially a uh, shower hooks and a shower liner now you guys are like well why don't you just order it on amazon i thought about it and i had put it in my cart last night but the hooks were like ten dollars and the shower curtain was like thirteen dollars now if i go to home goods i can buy hooks for i'm sure 4.99 and a shower curtain this shower curtain, because I like heavy duty shower curtains, is probably gonna be the same price. But why am I spending this extra money if I don't? And it wasn't coming till Wednesday anyway. So if I don't have an update on my car by like a certain cutoff time today, I'm going to just order on Amazon and I would have gotten it yesterday. Anyways, so that is like the one business, that's like the one thing that I do need is shower hooks and a shower curtain because water continues to get all, all over the place when I'm taking a shower, and that's not cute. Um, 
last night i did nothing i was literally looking at beds all night and like shower rug mat runners why don't they make runners like in the bathroom but are bath mats i don't want a rug in my bathroom i'm sorry you can wash it but to me it's not absorbing water like that and i want the like cushiness of a mat of a you know a bathroom mat when i'm getting out the shower or just standing on it i don't know how i feel about that but it's been really tough to find like a long runner bath mat rug if you guys understand what i'm saying and also i want like the non-slip it doesn't have to have the rubber on the background but i just feel like rugs that have like rug like that goes all the way through on the other side like they slip inside everywhere on the floor so i do not want that so that is a struggle but those are like the main priorities at this time a bathroom mat hooks shower curtain oh and hangers i was going to order black velvet hangers off of amazon as well the amazon basics had i think it was a pack of 100 for 27 dollars now in my head i'm like i think that is more expensive because i feel like i got 50 packs at like home goods for like 10 dollars so in my head i'm like if they're ten dollars they would be twenty dollars for two packs and i'm paying almost thirty dollars on amazon for a pack of 100 the math ain't math for me so that's why like i don't want to pull a trigger on anything the one thing that is coming today is i think that's better <laughs> um my bath uh or my shower uh storage so i bought cute little black um you know like shelving to put in my um oh my gosh like i just look so tired i need like good sleep and like oh, i hate my face but um the sh shower caddies not a shower caddy but like the shower little things that come in it came in two it has two and it has like a sh uh, soap dish um thingy so i can put in the shower and then i can put my skincare there um i don't think i'm gonna do any shelving outside i don't like that look i hate when people have like shelving on the wall for your skincare like we don't need to see that you have a thousand and one skincare like put that stuff in a drawer please and i have enough drawing here i realize that i don't even think i need to do under storage i think i might do like one under storage um rolling bin and then get the white clear things for the drawer for my skincare i'm thinking the right side sorry I'm thinking the right side do skincare and do the left side hair care because I'm not, I don't know, because this is just annoying though. Like this hits the door, so I'm gonna have to close the door. I mean, it's really not too much. I'm just being brat, but it's just like, I'm more likely to reach for skincare than hair care just because, I mean, I don't really do my hair. We just don't want a good old, a good old wig. Um, but yeah, that's the update as far as like, what I've been doing, what I'm thinking about, how I'm processing things. I'm still on my, um, you know, blow up mattress. And that's that. Hopefully I can find a bed. Um, I did search that there is some close CB2 warehouses, Crate and Bear warehouses, Restoration Hardware. Well, Restoration Hardware, I think, is further out than Katie. But it's like 30 minutes, so it's not too far back, far out. So this weekend, I'm thinking, um, before, the, before I pull a trigger on a bed, Go check out CB2 Warehouse and Crate and Barrel Warehouse um, just to see what they have. If I can find anything, you know, I feel like better quality. I mean, it's still probably gonna be a lot. I did go to a restoration hardware um, outlet in New Jersey and it was so expensive. <laughs> but you never know, hopefully being in Texas, I'll find a deal because um, I need a bed. Like first furniture business is a bed and a mattress because I can't sleep on this damn blow matches anymore it's not bad but jeez but okay i'm rambling i've been talking for seven minutes straight and i'm sorry if this is a flaw i'm sorry if, i'm sorry if this moving vlog has been boring thus far i know like the positioning of how you guys are seeing me especially when i put you on my little handy dandy paper towel there and i'm like cut off it's just i don't have anything to put you guys on sorry um but I'm about to go work in the coffee shop. That's why I had this on. I would assume you guys would know that. <laughs> but um, probably go to work. 
um, for some hours. And um, I'll probably mix it up today. I'll probably do the coffee shop for like four hours and then go to the little working stations for like the rest of the day. Um, but I'll probably come up here for lunch to eat my barbecue because that barbecue was a banging last night. What Killian's Lauren was the plug on that. Well, not the plug, but she suggested it and it did not disappoint. It was so, so good. Um, my nails are still a hot mess. I'm just, I'm just busted, y'all. But okay, I'm rambling. Gotta go. Bye. <laughs> So it's like 1.30. We've moved. This is a mess. Don't mind that. I actually just booked to get knotless braids on Sunday with someone in Houston. So hopefully that turns out to be good. But we're in one of the working spaces areas in my building. My first time using it. So these are so cute. Um, but we were in the coffee shop for like three hours. Then I went back up to my apartment and ate lunch. Um, now I'm back down here for a meeting. My car situation, ciao. Now he's in tomorrow. I'm hoping that I will have an update today though, because I could potentially get it today. He's trying to get another carrier to give him, I don't know y'all, I'm just aggravated with that situation, but I have a meeting now, so I'll talk to you guys later. Did it you guys oh finally got our car we just unpacked it oh, i am sweating like and i took you guys along with me to go pick up the car and i was gonna show you my car is filthy i wanted to show you guys how i packed my car but when i say it was too damn hot and my freaking camera probably would have frozen because my phone was jittering glitching for like 10 minutes after i got my car got in my car and mind you i let my car run for like 10 minutes with the air conditioner while i was waiting for the man to come meet me luckily i had a spare because i would have died uber was not going to wait for me um i don't know if i updated you guys i think i did so i was able to get my car he was able to get the man truck broke down okay that's why i have my car he saved he whatever story he told me on saturday or sunday it was a lie his truck broke down ain't nothing about no dealership liability no this man truck broke down. But luckily with the grace of God, I got my car today. Somebody was able, somebody let him use their truck today to unload the tractor cars. And there was a parking lot. Well, it was a business, but parking spaces. So he just pulled all the cars in the parking spaces. But I got my car, that's all I care about. It wasn't damaged. It's just hot. I feel like my air condition not working properly, but it could just be, it's so damn hot in Houston. It was like 102 my car red, but came back to my apartment. Luckily my apartment had this thing cause this was a lifesaver. I thought I was gonna have to rent a dolly because this box right here is legit almost a hundred pounds. Like it's so goddamn heavy. I could not imagine carrying this shit one by one. But luckily we had that. I did like three trips. Um, again, I didn't show you guys how my car was packed because it's too hot. I'm ready to, I'm still working. And I just wanted to get this over and done with. Like the stress of not having my car and I finally got it. Um, 
but I can show you guys what was in my car. So this big old bin, which was the heaviest thing, this was in my trunk. Um, then, so like those two Trader Joe's bags, but they, the stuff that was in them were not, uh, I didn't pack my car like that, just to transport the one items that were thrown in the back of my trunk and like spaces that I could fit things. I just filled them up in the Trader Joe's thing to transport my air pressure cooker, um, my makeup bag, which my makeup was probably fucking melted. Um, these are like sh bags of shoes. <laughs> um, and then this is like clothes, a Fendi box. What else? Oh, that paint bag is like all my like not so expensive sunglasses and jewelry. And then I had all of these. Um, I had all of these bags of what is this one two three four i think there's one underneath that so five five um vacuum pack sealed bags of clothes this is basically everything that was in my closet in new jersey that was hung up and there was like one bin in our garage that i vacuum sealed which was literally a lifesaver um so I just put this in here because I feel like whenever I get some hangers, I can just easily put the stuff on hooks. Um, those boxes were in the car and then like this dust bag of some dresses and I think it's a jacket in there. But I am so relieved. I want to bring this back down so I can get my license back. Um, my work day is, work day is sort of, oh, I'm, I'm missing y'all. And then this was in there. Um, this is like, this is like everything from the bathroom from New Jersey. So skincare. Um, skincare, hair care stuff, my two damn monitors for work. Um, yeah, yeah, y'all. It was a struggle, but we got it done. Um, I'm so happy. We could finally run it brown. I need to get my car washed though, but we could finally run it brown and look for home stuff. I'm so excited. You guys don't know how I'm like, my mood is better now. I can move how I want to move. I don't know how y'all, um, I mean, no shade, but. How do y'all function without a car? Like, child, this camera's about to die, but without my car, I was literally, I felt like I was dying. Like, and there's days I can, I can go a week without driving, but it's just knowing the luxury that I have my car. If any of y'all do not have your license and don't have a car, let's just start with the license. Please sign up because the freedom of being able to move how you wanna move and not having to rely on people is like, like, I don't know, top tier. And shout out to Lauren, because Lauren was offering me her house, she was offering me the Tessie, but I just couldn't, cause you know, I just don't, I don't wanna put that on her. But she did bring me places, so thank you Lauren, if you're watching, I appreciate you so much. Um, but yeah, I just, I, I didn't wanna put my move Put it, put it on her, it's not her burden. So that's why I just wanted to get my car so I can move how I wanna move. Get the things how I wanna, th get things and go places that I wanna go to, um, where I wanted to. Um, but yeah, y'all, I'm about to bring this back down to the leasing office, uh, move my car, and well, actually I'm gonna check work, cause if I'm done, I'm logging off and I'm about to hit the streets. <laughs> and um, yeah, maybe I'll bring you guys with me. So yeah, I'll call you back. We're getting a car wash, you guys, but my car was filthy. Absolutely filthy. It's our room. It's loud. The AC was loud, so it's dark. Sorry. But my freaking, my um, car was, I'm, I'm making sure my windshield wipers are not on auto. Okay, I think we're good. But you guys, it's our first car wash in Houston. I'm so excited. You guys have no idea. My mood is like one thousand now that I have my car. Oh my gosh! And my phone's about to die though. I have a car charger in my car, but I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know where we headed. I think we just gonna drive down the street to see where we where we are near. First of all, but uh, I need to look for a dollar store. Cause your girl is trying to be budget friendly now with her cleaning supplies instead of going to Target. I'm so excited, you guys. I listen to the radio because I'm trying to preserve my phone. Leave in the comments below. Um, good uh, R&B urban radio stations in Houston. I'm gonna get off and I need to drive and then I know the lighting is bad and I'm not talking about nothing, so bye. So Ross was a dub, um, but there was no like good home stuff. 
Um, so yeah, I guess I'm gonna see what else is around here. <sighs> I'm sort of hot and tired. Um, I think today might be a dub just because I was exhausted bringing that stuff up. Um, so we'll see. The only thing I am going to pick up today, I'm going to start to pick up my TV. But I have to do that before 8 a 8 p.m. So, I'm trying to think what I should do right now. Are there Marshalls and TJ Maxx here? Or like a home goods? I know they are. Um, it's, I'm so hot. Damn, the closest home goods is five miles away. Hey guys. So, we are at. I don't even know if you can see the sign. We're at Best Buy right now to try to pick up a 55 inch TV that I ordered. Um, I think it can fit in my car. I'm not 100% sure, but um, I think it should be okay. Oh, here he comes. I'm gonna keep you guys running. Just made it in. All right. And we got some room. Yeah, <laughs> Thank okay. you so much. Yeah, Thank you very much. Chris, hello. You said I wasn't going to fit. You doubted me. Like, I have mad room. Okay? I am so excited. Let's actually call him. <sighs> um. So, that is in. I'm glad the box is, like, brown so it's not so... It's sort of conspicuous because I still wanted to do some moves. It's 7.23 and Best Buy closed at 8. So, that's why I came over here. And the Ross that I was actually near was literally, like, seven minutes away from it. Because I... I was about to say at Ross I told you guys the first Ross I went to um, the line was too long and this is the exact same thing that I was gonna buy just a cute over the sink colander they're so cute this Ross though did not have the matching the same brand same color same type of style um, cheese grater which I didn't like but it's fine I mean I really don't need this shit anyway I mean I think that was $10 um, I'll probably do a recap too when I get home because the other bags are behind me but uh, behind me, oh, Home Goods. So I did get some stuff at Home Goods. I ended up spending like $65. Let's see. I spent $63, $62.73 at Home Goods. I bought, um, they had Dr. Bronner's, you know, the soap. My eyes are burning. They had Dr. Bronner's. Um, oh my God, I cannot think of the soap. But you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, I got the rose. They have the rose one. It was $12.99. If you guys know, if you get it from Target, it's a little bit more. Um, then I got from the bath shop. What did I get from the bath shop? Oh, I got like a, a black trash can I'm potentially going to use for the bathroom. And then I got three candles. <laughs> Two, they're all pretty candles. Um, so that's all I got. Excuse me. But that is all that I got. So now I think I'm about to go. I've been looking for. Home Goods and Ross have not had a good selection of shower curtain um, hangers. Cannot find any. Um, towels have been trashed all cro across the board. Like, nobody has good towels. I'm so picky on a towel. Like, I need it to be, like, thick but not too thick. And then I hate the feeling of... I need it to be a little rough but not rough. Still feel luxurious. I don't know. I'm very picky when it comes to towels um and even though i really need a towel like i'm not about to buy towels unless i have like full sets oh this door is open i need to close it but that was like the goal shower curtain shower rods um and towels i think i'm just gonna have to revert to tarjay and walmart well probably tarjay for towels but i'm actually gonna try to go to walmart to see like their clearance i'm actually about to head back home that area and i have walmart and target in my area so head back on that side of town go to walmart first and go to tarjay <sighs> walmart hopefully like they have good clearance of i want a shark vacuum i've had a dyson um previously i had a, 
I had the Dyson V8 um, in New Jersey trash um literally the battery is so freaking trash the fact that you have to charge it on the wall like eventually at this point in time it like i could and i use max suction i would get literally probably like if 10 minutes out of it so the tiki tiki talk is saying the shark is better and it has batteries so you can buy an additional battery i believe for like six dollars but the shark has so many variations i don't know which i was gonna do i think i was gonna do the shark cordless pet one i don't have a pet obviously but that's the one that i'm seeing a lot and it's not as expensive i do like the one that you could bend all the way but i'm not spending 350 dollars on a damn vacuum like i'm not doing that again um so yeah but like i said i'm about to go back on my side of town i need to have the ac on but i'm excited about our tv oh let's call this boy my titties is all out cho my hands feel disgusting. Turn it down. My TV fit in there with ease. With ease. I said the TV fit in the trunk with ease. Hi, Levi. You miss your mommy? You miss your mommy, Levi? Do y'all see? I'm glistening. I'm legit sweating. Oh gosh. I had to bring all the stuff in my hand tonight. I picked my TV, the stuff I got from Walmart. Well, I didn't show y'all, but Walmart, Home Goods, Home Goods, food, that. I already started to wash my towels that I picked up from, oh Jesus, from Home Goods. I'm mad it's gonna take one hour and 37 minutes. Ciao. And where is the water? But I'm washing the washcloths and towels. I wanted to set my TV up tonight, but that's not happening. Child, your girl is tired. But I can show you guys what I got today. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I mean, look at my house, y'all. It's a mess. But it's like we got our shit. And I mean, I doubt that I'm going to start doing stuff this week. I'm, this is probably gonna wait till Friday or Saturday. I'm def sure, definitely not Sunday because I just made an appointment to get small knotless braids on Sunday. So, and that girl has nine hours now or seven hours, a long ass time. So, more than likely, I'm gonna be there all damn day. Um, but maybe Friday. Fridays are typically slower for me. Maybe I can start cleaning up and then Saturday, like, start putting things in place. <sighs> Y'all, I'm tired. Okay, so I guess we can start at by the door. So that Amazon package is the shower shelves. I'm not opening it. I'll show y'all when I go up. So I bought this all clad HA1 nonstick um, 10 piece set from Home Goods today. It was $1.99, but it's like you have to invest in a good pot set because you can have it. You'll have it forever. Like, hello? Um, my last good pot set left that with the boy in Jersey, so whatever. Um, from Home Goods, I can show y'all that the towels and stuff when I'm done. I mean, when they're done. But let me try to touch y'all up. It's hot, y'all. I'm hot, I'm sweaty, and I think it's dark, so I apologize, but. Your girl, it's, it's 10 55 o'clock at night. So, from Home Goods, I bought this Fabry Wear um, bamboo, seven sectional bamboo flatware tray to when eventually when I get silverware, they will go in this. This was, again, from Home Goods, this was $12.99. I bought this, again, same brand, Fabry Wear sponge holder for the sink. This is like black um, suction cups. This was $4.99 in some home goods. I finally got some <laughs> shower curtain hooks, so I will attach these. These are black, black 
They're by Halston Home. These are from Home Goods and they were $6.99. Um, let me stick on Home Goods. I think this is the only thing that I showed you guys in the car when I was at Best Buy. I got this over the um, sink uh, perfor <laughs> perforated colander. Um, this came from Home Goods. No, this came from Ross. This was $9.99. That was, oh, no, that was not everything. I got this trash can. It's black. I'm thinking this for the bathroom because there's really not, not a lot of space to put a trash can in the bathroom. So I thought this was cute petite. I like the way it soft closes. Um, this came from Home Goods and this was $16.99. Sure. Um, And it is a candle. It's so cute. Hmm. Okay. Um, I really should be buying like decor, but this is like decor. I'm probably not going to burn this candle. But this is so cute. It's by Rachel Zoe. Um, this came from Home Goods. It was $7.99. Like, are you kidding me? How adorable is this? Like. It's so cute. And then oh, I meant to get a lighter at Walmart. Oh. And this, just the Dr. Bronner's 18 in 1 Hemp Lavender Pure Castile Soap. That's what it's called. This came from Home Goods and this was $12.99. Then I got these two candles which are so pretty like i literally they smell good i've never had this brand but i had to get them because they were so pretty so the first one is green like i think i want this to be my accent color in here i don't know but it's green it's so cute this is by the brand i have no idea um, what brand this is? It just has an R, but I don't know the brand. But this was Home Goods. This was $9.99. This is orange neroli. It smells so good. It's two wick. It smells so good. Hopefully it burns well. Oh, this is by Red Leaf Home. And then I got another one. This one though, I got it in black. How pretty is the black as well? It's gorgeous. Like these look so, ex they, don't these look so expensive? They're heavy. Like, but what am I gonna do these when these melt down? Like these, these are so pretty. This one smelled good too. This was $9.99. This is black at Veveteer. Veveteer? I don't know. But, two wick again. It smells so good. But, I thought these were gorgeous um, and I want a candle to burn so that's it for home goods then I stop oh my god come on back come on back okay then I stopped in the ghetto went to Walmart I finally have a shower curtain I do super heavyweight shower liner um, I don't know how much this will cost I bought, oh, there's my receipt. A KitchenAid soap dispensing sink brush. I don't know why I bought that from Walmart. It could have came from Home Goods on sale, but whatever. And then I was hyped because, of course, East Coast, we don't sell alcohol in like stores like Walmart and Target. Like, we have to actually go to the liquor store. But Walmart here sells it. So I got me some Yellowtown Pinot Grigio. And I really wanted, Yellowtail makes a good, um, like a white sangria. It's so good, but they didn't have it. And then I also got my favorite rosé, um, Gerard Bertrand Cote de Roses. Let me know, if y'all drink this, I mean, I don't know if this is just how it looks down here, but they changed up the packaging. Like, they're making it real cheap, because this is, like, just a sticker now. Before, it had, like silver before and like the color change on the um 
on the label like i feel like they get real cheap but this is like my favorite rose ever and then i just got some ocean spray cran pineapple just because i wanted some juice and then that was it you guys oh also at walmart so i spent 124.19 in walmart and it's because i spent 50 dollars on a wagon it's still in my car i'm not going back for it oh and then also i had to get soap detergent to wash my towels and washcloths so this came from walmart i like arm and hammer plus oxyclean that's what i've been using for years um, but yeah, I got a wagon from Walmart. It's still in my trunk in my car. I was not doing another trip. I try to put it on top of the box of the, um, pot set, but it was too heavy for me. So I left that in the trunk and it should be fine. I'll get it tomorrow. But yeah, I stopped at Velvet Taco on my way home. I got some food. This is a frozen margarita. When I say it is frozen, it's frozen. Like my tongue was icy. I got some guac, jalapeno, I think guac. I got a shrimp taco. And then like a beef and a pork, or no, a chicken and a, a chicken and a, a chicken, y'all, yeah, I'm just all over the place. I'm so tired. A chicken and a pork taco, I think. That's what these are. And, oh, these are just nachos, but. Like I said, now it's 11.03. I'm extremely tired. I'm about to eat my food, take a shower, and go up on my blow-up mattress. So, my eyes are burning. I'm going to check in with you guys in the morning. Bye. Good morning. This wig just keeps getting worse and worse, but I don't feel like curling it. I cannot wait to get my hair braided on Saturday, Sunday. Because I'm over putting the wig on and on, on and off. Because, like, the curls completely dropped yesterday when I was in the sun. But whatever. Good morning, it is 10.54, it is a late start. I was extremely tired yesterday, this morning. I could not get up. I think it's because um, I had to bring in all this stuff yesterday. Yesterday was just a very, very busy day after working. So I just needed to sleep in. So I've been checking my emails, my Slack, nothing has been going on, thank God. But now I'm about to head to the coffee shop, um, try a new drink. Um, no, I actually like their americano thingy yesterday i'll probably get that and hopefully they have tacos left but i have a meeting in 30 minutes um i am running late so i do need to go but i just want to show you guys or say good morning um and i'm very limited on what i can wear right now because all of my things are wrinkled from being in those vacuum pack stuff it's very hot and i want to be comfortable just because like i'm sitting in this coffee shop so i've just been doing dresses just because they're so easy to just throw on um and also my hair my legs are very 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 hairy <laughs> like extremely hairy and i need to shave so i'm with the busted the busted wig hairy ass legs whatever but we did do something this morning like look at my like i'm living in disaster chaos but we're gonna get it together yo so I did put up my shower curtain, the shower liner with the hooks, but black looks cute with the black rod. So yeah, hopefully this weekend, today, who knows, we'll find a shower curtain. And I think I am going to go with the 78, 70, 72 by 78 because 72 like stopped here and it's not cute. I want it to like hit the ground. Um, this is 72 by 72 um but the shower curtain needs to hit it cannot stop here like that just looks cheap but yeah um oh maybe show you guys what i'm wearing so this is like a cute blue dress i got from mango um like months back these oldies tory birch sandals just because i don't know where anything else is at and i'm not about to struggle to find anything so we're just gonna wear these um I was able to finally get some perfume in my bag because it's all of my perfumes for all of my perfume was in my car. So today's scent is MFK Gentle Fluidity Gold. I'm like almost done with this bottle. All my fragrances are basically gone. So if you love me, send me a fragrance. You know? <laughs> but no, I'll check in with you guys. Bye. Today, um, oh, and today's agenda. So after work, 
I plan on going to Target um, to get cleaning supplies. <sighs> look around in there to see what they have. I actually want to go back to Walmart because I just realized I did not look at the Walmart section um, for vacuum. The um, I look, my face looks so. I'm so, and I've been eating horrible. I haven't been working out. I just feel bloated and big all over again. Like, we're gonna get it together. But y'all, we just did a, almost half a country, half a country move. Like, it's gonna take time. That's what I need. That's what I need to keep reminding myself. It's going to take time where you can't rush and do everything at once. So, whatever. But yeah, let me go get work before somebody looking for me. Alrighty. Bye. Oh, and also I forgot to show you guys the TV. You guys sort of saw it when I picked it up from Best Buy yesterday, curbside pickup, but you guys didn't really see who it was. I just went with Toshiba. I really want a Samsung. I just like Samsung. I feel like they're so easy to like airplay stuff from your phone. Um, my mom has a Toshiba. I bought her uh, years ago and it's still good. And I feel like the airplay is relatively okay on Toshiba, but I'm gonna put my Apple TV on this anyways. It comes with Fire TV. Um, so I had that back in Jersey, but I wasn't a big fan because it glitches, but I'm probably just going to use my Apple TV, but a Toshiba 55 inch, um, TV, you know, TVs are always on sale. So I think this TV was originally like 459. I got it for 259. So yeah, that was the TV. Um, I was going to put it up last night, but as you guys saw, I came in here extremely late and I was extremely tired. Um, so maybe it will go up tonight. Maybe it's not. I really don't need it. I, if I want to watch anything, which is probably YouTube, I'm watching it on my phone or my laptop. So yeah, Let's, let me go. Let me go. Hey guys, change of hair. We finally got our boxes so we can change the wig and I'm about to go out. It's good. Um, I just want it to be like comfortable but still a little bit more presentable. And I don't want to put a um scarf on with the cap on today. So we're gonna put the long wing on with the Nike hat. Just to be more put together. Um Zara Nike hat, Zara black tank top, Nike leggings, black keys. Look at me. And I'm throwing on the Chanel. The Chanel Sunnies to be very incognito. And then I'm wearing my Louis Vuitton bum bag. Um, just because it holds more and it's more comfortable to put it across my body. Um, because we're going back to Walmart. Um, because I wanted to look at their clearance. If they have a clearance section to see if I can get a shark vacuum. I want to go to Target to get my cleaning supplies to use my red card and get additional 5%. Because Walmart's no cheaper and the dollar store is no cheaper than Target at this point. Um, and then I need to go to the Galleria for some fun stuff. It's like, no, but I need to go to the Galleria to go to Nordstrom's to pick up, <laughs> to pick up some sunglasses that I bought. I'll show y'all when I get them. Um, but I just came back from my car. I mean, get this, my little wagon so I can put it together and then put it back to my, and put it in my car. So whatever I get today, I can just wheel it back. Not do a thousand and one damn trips like I've been doing. Yeah, so let's put this together. I'm hoping, I hope you can hear me. I'm hoping it's easy. How are you guys doing? I'm sorry this vlog is probably gonna come out horribly, but I'm gonna put it together anyways. And I wish I could show you guys more in the store, but like I'm not comfortable yet. Um, walking around my vlogging camera. And also I didn't have a tripod. Um, so that was one thing. Oh my God, it's so heavy. Oh, I'm glad it's already together. I don't even think I have to put it together. Again, came from Walmart, Oza, it's called the, the Ozark, the Ozark Trail Outdoor, it's by Ozark Trail Outdoor Equipment, it's a multi-purpose big bucket cart, 
Um, it is, y'all can Google it, just the box. It carries up to like 260 pounds. So, no, don't, don't mind the mess. Oh, yep, yeah. that one's very deep. Oh, I could have opened this last night. I, didn't, I thought I was going to have to put some together. Oh, this is good. So this is the cart. Like I said, it's pretty deep. Like, look at that. I don't know if you could. I can't show y'all. But it has a clip here. Rolling, rolling, rolling. So that was easy. Okay. Now let's try to put it back together though. <laughs> don't mind the mess. Please don't judge me. And I mean, if you got to this point and you aren't already subscribed, subscribe. And I think to put it back together, you just go like this. You squeeze it. And then, I think in order to break back to my car, we just gonna open it and we'll get to the car, close it up in the trunk because, like I said, we're not gonna break it. This was $49, child. And the rest of them cost $100 that was on Amazon. So, yeah. Um, but I was letting my AirPods, AirPods charge. Oh, we're gonna take our Naked Sundays Hydrating Glow Mist with SPF 50 and Hyaluronic Acid, Akuda Plum, and Watermelon Extract, and spray our face because we are gonna get black. I don't. Spray my body with SPF. And my makeup will not match. Okay. Get one more bottle of water, hydrate, and I'm gonna be on my way. I'll pull you guys out when I feel comfortable too. But of course I'm gonna check it when I get back home. So if I don't pull you out while I'm on the road, running around, you'll be pulled out when I get back in. It's 2 12 p.m. Let's see what time I get home tonight. <laughs> it's now 5 48 p.m. As you can see, we changed up the sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> These are what I picked up from Nordstrom. We picked up our Celine sunglasses. Cause I really, oh shit. I really enjoyed the Celine oval ones, but that doesn't fit my face. So we did these. They're like, I don't know what's the shape you would call them, but these fit our face better than, I think we needed the harsh lines. Like we can't do oval cause our face is already round. Um. So I got these. They're just black. They have the silver um, triumph, triumph, whatever sign. They're not gold because I have a lot of black and gold sunglasses already. Because the sunglasses I had on earlier when I showed you when I left my house, my Chanel's, those are gold. So I figured, oh, these are cute. I wanted Chanel. I was pressed to get some Celine's and they're silver. So yeah. But anyways, after Nordstrom, we went to another Home Goods. Um, in the Galleria area. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys won't slide. Like, I don't understand why it's sliding. But, anyways, after Nordstrom, we went to Home Goods in the Galleria area. And Home Goods, we. What did we buy? Oh, we bought four piece, like, wine glass set. And then we bought an eight piece, um, like, a regular, regular glass set. Luckily, like, it was four shorties and then, like, four larger ones that's what i wanted because i realized like i don't need to buy all these glasses like i need sets of four um so the only other set of of glassware that i need is like champagne flutes that's all i need and i need like a four another four set and i'm done with glassware i still need to find um a play set plate set um and silverware and then oh my god Okay, let's try this again. Um, yeah, no. I'm gonna have to open the show later. <laughs> you guys, why is it 9.44 p.m.? Do you hear that? Do you hear that? The freaking fire alarm is going off. It's been going on. Well, I've been home for like 10 minutes. I pull up to my building. I see everybody. I saw fire trucks 
on the street that I would take the parking garage entrance into. And I'm like, oh, okay, it didn't phase me. Then I, oh my God, if you guys hear snoring, it's not me. But then I go in front of the building and four fire trucks, people outside. I'm like, oh my gosh, I hope this building is not on fire. But I pull into the garage and then I stop to ask someone who's standing outside. I'm like, what happened? They don't know. And then I was like, well, let me just come in the um, parking garage and just sit here. Child, a lady passed with her poor baby. When she walked by, I asked her, I was like, do you know what's going on? She doesn't know. I was like, how long has this been going on for? She was like, 30 to 45 minutes. She said that the firefighters said we can go back in, but they cannot get the alarm to stop. Now, I am in a cement parking garage second floor you guys hear the fire alarm can you imagine if i'm in my apartment this shit is super loud like i might as well just stay in my car like i wanted to go home i mean show you guys what i got today clean my bathroom because i finally got cleaning supplies because that was the only thing i was gonna get clean and i can't because it's loud by the time i'm sure they get it to cut, turn off I don't want to go to sleep because it's been another long day. I started the day earlier than I did yesterday. I mean, I am home a little earlier, but I'm tired. Like, I am exhausted. This is ridiculous. Child, I look crazy, but I don't care. It is 11 o'clock. I got in the house around about a half hour ago. Child, I'm not doing anything at this point. I just poured a big old glass of wine and I'm about to take my ass in my blow of bed. I got the tea on what happened, apparently, and it happened to be a apartment on my floor. Thank, <coughs> excuse me, thank God it was not an apartment above me, because I'm sure it would have flooded my apartment. But the tea was that an apartment on my floor supposedly had a fire, and the fire, the sprinklers um, put it out, but you know, it just flooded everything. Supposedly you could see the water coming out of something from the pool area. I don't know. But I just thank God. It, oh, I'm assuming that they're okay. Everybody is else okay. I'm glad it was contained in that one apartment. Unfortunately, I'm sure the people below them, though, got water damage. Um, but you, when I finally was able to come in, you could smell the smoke um, from the fire. I wonder, I don't know how it started, but yeah, y'all. So that's why the alarm was going off. I just thought... The girl just told me that you could go in the fart they just can't get it to stop i just assumed that it just was going off like you know once like if you're cooking and you don't turn your fire alarm off quick enough it will set off the whole building that's at least how my apartment was in new jersey and we would always have to go outside again i wasn't here so i don't know but now i know what happened and <sighs> crazy y'all they not even a week of living here and somebody burnt their fucking apartment like hello be get it together y'all we adults so anyways like i said i'm drinking my wine and i'm going to bed i'll show you guys all the things that i got at target tomorrow so good night i probably look so crusty let's see do i look crusty not too bad but it's friday happy friday i don't think i checked in with you guys at all yesterday um hold on just to make sure the date it's friday august 18th it's about 2 47 p.m um i really didn't do too much today i'm finally picking up the camera but like i sort of just stated let me i finally have my tripod too so i can lift you guys up not a good angle it's no light okay but um like I said yesterday, I did not pick you guys up because, I don't know, I was just in a weird mood. I'm still sort of still in a weird mood. Very moody. Um, I think my period is coming up, um, but I think I have another week left. So I think it's just the fact, I mean, I did just move away from literally, you know, everything that I've known. So... I think that sort of just hit me, maybe. Oh, I feel like emotional talking about it. Um, hmm. But, I mean, I'm not, like, I'm not sad or anything. I'm just, I think it's just hitting me. 
and processing it and you know going through the motion of that and feeling okay and everything will be okay um i mean nothing happened it's just i mean the only thing that's happened that is like i just can't find anything that i like when it comes to bedding because i told you guys the first thing that i'm trying to do is just do the bedroom when it comes to like big furniture the bathroom i think i've ordered the bathroom mind you i had got that clear shower liner but i realized like i wanted to i didn't know i could move that pole up in the bathroom so it's like i'm sort of redoing the bathroom and i had to buy a new liner and i'm like this is, that was like a waste of money and i don't know and then looking on like wayfair overstock on like trying to find a bed for my bedroom and then i can't but it's like things that i do like is just a thousand dollars plus and it's like i really don't want to spend a thousand dollars on a bed um because i mean it's like you can invest in a bed and then take it with you but it's like who's to say that my next spot is going to be a house so it's like and i'm assuming if i when i do leave here it will be something bigger so i would potentially want a king i don't know it's just like i don't know what to do with the bed situation i'm just frustrated and also like i don't want to spend a thousand dollars on the bed and that's totally okay too like i don't feel comfortable spending a thousand dollars on a bed in an apartment like no um so that's just very annoying and i'm tomorrow will be a week since being here but I thought I would have found my bed. I think also that just coming from the space of when I lived, when we moved to New Jersey, our apartment in New Jersey, literally we hadn't moved in yet, still a month out and I literally had ordered everything. I had planned out everything except for the living room couch basically. Like that was like the only thing that I did not have, the living room couch and the living room rug. But when I say like the kitchen, bar stools were bought, um, I had our bed picked out, I had our nightstands picked out, I had our dresser picked out, I had our area rug picked out, I had our kitchen runner picked out, Um, everything was picked out. So it was like, and I didn't want to do that here, not only because, well I couldn't, because how was I going to move this thing, These move, the, move these things, and I couldn't get them delivered here, and also I had never seen the space, and you know, the sizing of things, so I couldn't. But it's just like, I cannot function like not having my things and having like a bed like i think i've realized that about me like i cannot like i said i want to take my time but it's like this is sort of bothering me like i need to be okay with taking my time and you know things will fall into place when they do but it's just like girl i need a bed i need to have my bedroom furniture so i can move on to the living room and then just live and not have to worry about anything like little decor but like the big furniture pieces I need to have them figured out um but anyways so i think again back to my mood that's why i just did not feel like picking up the camera yesterday um i literally worked and i ran outside to oh get my nails done um get my nails done um i went to milano nail bar nail spa i don't know i think they have a few locations in Texas period and a few in Houston I just went to the one closest to me um they did okay I mean I could say they were not overly priced like back east or up north but I had to like direct the man on how one of my nails done like the shape and like I just didn't like the way he overlaid the acrylic like I'm sorry like sir this is a big gap and then them trying to tell me like I don't care if you're doing my nails I've been getting my nails done for basically at this point 20 plus years so don't tell me how I want my nails I know how how I like my nails okay um so yeah got my nails on and then I went to Target and picked up um I bought a vacuum I was deciding on going back and forth what type of shark or getting the Tinko Tinique Tinko another brand I was not doing another Dyson so no but I ended up just going with this um it was on sale at Target for $1.99. So with, I had a $50 gift card because the previous day, oh, I don't think I showed you guys what I got from Target, but the previous day when I bought all that home cleaning supplies at Target, I had a $15 gift card. So I applied that here and then plus I got an additional 5% um, for using my Target debit card. So I think with, with everything in the taxes, it came to like literally $1.98 something. Um, 
so I got that so I can clean. I plan on coming back and cleaning because again, like I said, I did nothing yesterday, but again, my mood, I was just not with it. So I just went and laid down in the bed literally all day. Um, I got food from, I don't even remember, but it was like chicken parm with pasta and it wasn't, it was okay, it wasn't great. I wouldn't order from them again. Um, and then I started to look at bedding furniture again in the like l late, late, late um, in the evening. I couldn't find, like I found some stuff, I don't know, I found some better options, but still nothing that I acted on. Um, then today, Friday, like I said, I just been working for most of the day. It is quiet, so I haven't been working too. <laughs> and then also, did I look up last Thursday? No, I didn't. I think it was on my YouTube thing with watching videos. Um, but now it is almost three o'clock. I did nothing. I need to clean up my house. Like this shit, sorry. This looks crazy. Um, I'm gonna show y'all. And it's not even like dirty. It's just like things are scattered everywhere because I have nowhere to put them. I mean, this stuff, these boxes and stuff, I can. I'm gonna get that tackled today. Um, so, but again, the mood has just been blah for me. Um, hopefully I can show you like a almost finished bathroom tomorrow. Um, things I ordered from Amazon are coming in tomorrow. The only thing that I will not have is like decor pieces. Like I wanna get a nice big base and some big greenery to put in on the countertop. Um, I ordered the Apsol, Apsol, whatever, that fancy hand wash. I bought it from Nordstrom. I had a Nordstrom note to pay for it, so whatever. I bought that, that doesn't come in till, I don't even think till, I don't even know. But um, what else? Oh, and I want like bar art work for the walls in the bathroom and I don't have that yet. So the little decor, decor pieces will come at a later date, but you'll see um, how I lifted the shower curtain rod up, um, the shower curtain that I bought for it, and then the rug. So, you know, the, the major pieces per se. Um, yeah. Um, what else has going on? Oh, Sunday I'm supposed to get my hair braided. I think I told you guys that, but I think I'm gonna cancel with the girl. So I'm gonna be losing $40. Just because, I don't know, I'd rather go to African, the Africans, um, they're a little cheaper in this actual shop. Just because, I don't know, the girl has a lot of followers, but like, you know, I went through them to see if they were like, not real accounts. And they didn't look like it, but like the likes aren't adding up and the comments aren't with the number of followers she has. So I don't know. To me, it looks she looks legit. Her site is like real well. You just never know. I and I think I I think I will just feel more comfortable going to someone with an actual shop or a studio. So I'm gonna just go to these Africans. Um I text them to see if I could come like today, Saturday, Sunday. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to. So I'm probably gonna have to do it when I'm done with work on Monday. And that's fine. I'm not going anywhere. I just really want my hair braided because I need to wash my hair. My hair and scalp is so dry. And like running around, I can't, I can't do a wig right now. Um, that snow is too hot. And then I can't run around with how I've been doing with the, you know, my black scarf. I put the bun on the back and then put my Nike hat on. That's not cute. Like, you know, we're not looking for anyone or dating, but you know, I want to look presentable just in case if I run into somebody. <laughs> um so that's that um moving on um so that's with the hair but um as far as today so we're gonna clean so we're gonna clean the bathroom so i think my plan is so we're gonna now we never did a deep clean because we did not have the things to do that so that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna deep clean the bathroom um i think i'm gonna put um like all the things that i can put away i'm gonna put them away so like um, when I packed like my hair products, I put them in white or freezer Ziploc bags, same thing with my skincare. And since I don't have organization for the uh, drawers and stuff yet, I think that's a great way to keep things organized. Just keep them in the Ziploc bag. But at the same time, I can, the box that I, um, you know, put in my car to uh, get them here, I can move that out of my apartment. I think I'm just gonna end up having to throw this been away maybe i'll put it in my closet um for the meantime but probably gonna have to throw it away um 
and then from the bathroom i think i'm gonna move on to the bedroom and then i finally got my hanger so i can hang up all those clothes that are in the um vacuum pack bags um and then um but like still deep clean the closet then put up the clothes then deep clean like the bedroom part and then that should be then i should have no and then from the living room i think I'm, i mean from the bedroom i'm going to move on to the kitchen and deep clean the kitchen and like wash out the cabinets and stuff and put the stuff that i can put away um in the cabinet and then like this little my little um, mud room mud area deep clean that and put like um i think i can put some stuff away like the books so i can empty out this bin and then these boxes two of the boxes are sh literally shoe boxes so i can put those away the other one with scattered shoes though that's gonna have to stay um and yeah then i think we should have a better more room a, um you know cleaner a cleaner look oh i have bags of shoes too so that stuff is just gonna have to stay where it is because i don't i don't know where i'm gonna put this stuff but um or i don't know how i'm gonna organize it i don't know if i'm gonna get shoe racks and it's like I sort of want shoe racks, but at the same time, I'm like, maybe instead of a dresser, maybe I buy like the um, cubbies in the closet with the uh, pull out drawers instead and just do that all in the closet. But I don't know. This is things that I can get a better idea of when I hang up all my clothes because I can see how I can see if I can have space underneath those rods, how far things hang and things like that. Um, so I've been talking for a while, going on about 13, 14 minutes. So I'm gonna start cleaning up. I can show you guys, oh, this camera's about to die. I can show you guys the mess. So it's literally a mess. I'm just gonna do y'all a quick zoom. Like I said, it's just things everywhere. I mean, it is what it is. Um, yeah. Um, do you guys want to... I'm not about to show you what I got from... Do you want to see what I got from Target? It's literally all this cleaning plot. I guess I can show you. I'll show you. Hold on. Please hold. Okay. And don't mind me. Like, I'm in my house. I ain't got a bra on. Okay. So, from Target... Um, well, let me show you. Um, let me show... I don't think I showed you guys what I got yesterday or the two days before anyways. I'll show you everything that I don't believe you guys saw. Okay. So starting off with home goods. I had got this wine glass set, a four piece, four piece wine glass set. This is what they look like. This was $24.99. These are what they look like. Aren't these so cute? I love these. Um, they're not too light, but they're, they could be a little bit heavier, but they're okay. Um, also, I have gotten, um, where is it? I have gotten an eight piece glass set. So I was happy to find this. I could not find glasses. I still can't find dishware, but this AP set was $7.99. Like it is four of the little ones and four of the large ones. This is exactly what I wanted because I like, I don't, I don't need a lot of glasses. I did that in my last apartment and it was like, for what girl? Like you don't even use, you don't even use it. So I got these, this is what they look like. I'm not about to take them out. I'll take out the top ones, which are the shorter ones. So, yeah. This is what they look like. I thought these are cute. You can use these of course for regular water, but also good for a drink, like a cocktail. That was what I got from Home Goods, and then I think I showed you guys. I had got some Celine sunglasses. My business. Um, these are them. They have silver, a silver triumph, triumph. Um, you know the Celine sign. 
these are them these are cute i can't do oval for my face but these work again i had a i bought these i bought them i had bought two different style celine glasses previously i had these i think in another color but i was like uh, i don't like them i was like i really don't need another black pair but i'm like black with silver i really don't have a black with silver sunglasses so i got these and again i mean i had no some note that i applied so why not okay um so that was that oh these came in i think i'm going to return these i had bought these orange nike dunks i really wanted them um but i'm not in love with them i don't know they just something about them is not speaking to me let me know in the comments below should i have kept them or should i have returned them by the time this video goes up who knows where we're at um but hmm and then for Target, okay, it's a lot. So I bought these Evo, these flying insect traps. I bought just one. This came with one device and one cartridge. Um, because there was one day, I think it was the window not being properly secured where I was getting these gnats. I haven't had any gnats since then and that was say i moved in saturday say that was like on monday so i just bought this just in case to try it out um and if gnats do appear i bought a lighter a big um multi-purpose lighter for my candles i bought a lint roller i bought this i'm thinking about putting this in the back of the bathroom door to hang up my robes or the closet door i don't know i bought ooh, like it was open. this free um arm and hammer fridge and freezer baking soda to put in the refrigerator um i this is what i use to clean i usually just get the cheapest washcloth looking things from target the um room essentials brand and this is what i like when i'm like wiping things down with a bucket of water and cleaning solution. These are what I use because you can wash them. Um, I got this, a fresh washing machine cleaner. Mind you, I have already washed my towels, but it's like I needed them. But I'm gonna throw this in probably before I start cleaning so I can then start washing. I'm not gonna wash them again, whatever. I'm a harsh chemical girl. I'm still a harsh chemical girl. Um, the target brand like the more healthier safer one that's not for me give me all the bleach ammonia all that stuff to make sure so i know it's clean so hello uh chlorus all-purpose cleaner the lime scents i love that smell um dish detergent so cascade um mr clean the reason why I like Mr. Clean is because this is antibacterial for the floors. And if y'all saw the damn mop that they were using um, when they came to do the bathroom, like, fucking disgusting. Like, this floor, I'm sure, is gross. Like, it was literally brown. It was gross looking. Um, the Swiffer Six Feet Duster to, you know, um, do the, what are these called? Ceiling fans and the blinds. This is going to make a mess again. Um, I got this. This is a Clorox tub and tile scrubber. I use this. Oh, why did we unzoom? What the hell? Come on back. Okay, there we go. Oh, I think because this things. But this tile scrubber, I use this because it has a long wand, so I can do the walls. My towel, my tub is there's tall walls, so. I had to get that again. I had it in Jersey. I like this. Um, Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. You just, you know, never know. I bought this to clean the dishwasher. I've never used this before. The finished dishwasher hygienic cleaner. Um, the reviews on this was sort of ugh, lean 50-50 because they said, I guess this is a wax thing and it didn't melt in the washer or dishwasher. So I'm hoping this works. Um, I'm an OxyClean girl too when it comes to washing clothes like I use this on colors whites everything okay
I got this Dish Daddy. Um, so I have two. So I'm going to keep one for the dishes and keep one for the tub. I saw on Ticket Talk one of the, I guess she's a well-known cleaner. I do not know her name off the top of my head. But she says to keep the bathtub like on a weekly basis, like fresher. You put like, I think some cleaning solution in here with vinegar. And then you just scrub down the tile. So I'm hoping that works. Um, this is Miss, uh, Scrubber Bubbles Bathroom Grind Fire. This is the, this is, if you want a clean bathtub, I don't care what nobody say, this is the GOAT for me. I personally love Scrubber Bubbles to clean stuff. The bathtub, like, that grime will disappear, like, immediately, well, not immediately. You, and how do y'all clean your bathtubs? I think the best time to clean a bathtub is when it is completely dry. You spray this on the bad boy on the tub. You let it sit and marinate. So do everything else you need to do in the bathroom. And then you come back to it and you just, it's gone. Like, I don't know. It works for me. Um, Scotch Sprite. Um, what are these? Non-scratch scrub sponges. I use these for dishes. I use this to um, clean the bathtub. I got some Febreze fabric extra shit for brusher. Um, just to freshen up my damn, at this point, my, um, what's it? My air mattress and there is carpet in the, in the closet. So I'm going to spray it on the floor and then my clothes too, just because, I don't know. They've been in bags for weeks. Oh. Um, Dawn dish soap. I like this one cause it's antibacterial. Again, give me all the chemicals. I'm sure it, it's not safe, but I don't care. I mean, I, and I'm all right. Um, Windex and Windex brand, like I don't do off. You can, to me, you cannot do knock off glass cleaner. No. Um, a notebook because I don't have anything to write on. Like when it comes to work, this is how I do my bills. I mean, I'm sure this is, that's not good, but I do my bills still in notebooks and for the month and scratch it off when it's been paid. Keeps me organized. I can't do it in my phone. Like I physically need to see it and physically to check it off. Um, and then this scrub of bubbles, I use this one for the walls, the mega shower foamer. Um, I like this just because it's easier to get on the walls you can spray it you know instead of the other one which is a little bit more it's not i don't know it's not great for large tall spaces clorks again cleaner and bleach you gotta get the bleach for the bathtub i mean the toilet the bathroom is just a place doo, -doo particles sit in there you gotta use the bleach okay you gotta use the bleach And then this Clorox disinfecting wipes. I got this too also um, just for like minor spills that might happen. I really don't like these honestly, but I never realized you could the, you could put them on this. Um, there was a little picture of here. I never thought about that, but I'm like, oh, if I just want to maintain the bath, the shower during the week too, not only with the scrubber, but the, those, this is the longer one, I'm not gonna be able to get all the way at the top so i was like oh instead of making a mess getting water everywhere i could take this and just wipe the places that i can't reach so that is why i got that and that is that was it for the haul you guys what's this yep um oh hello and then i got this so old cedar reviews the spinning mop i wanted that but after reading the reviews I was like, that's not gonna be for me. Um, the mop head is smaller. People said that the fibers on the mop head like left fuzzies when they were mopping and I can't I can't be bothered. So I love lemon. I was in Target. I didn't even know this was a thing. I was about to buy a $5 Target brand bucket and I used the lemon um, mop. The one, it's like, it's not the like knitted, looking yarn one it's the wider one white and orange i like that one um 
you could throw it in the washing machine that's what i've all what i've always used but then i saw this i didn't know lemon came out with their own thing like the old cedar so this is the lemon tornado spin mop mop system microfiber um i looked on ticket to talk the cleaning lady said they love this it has a wider head than the old cedar um these uh those microfibers are longer so it here it will cover more space when you're mopping and i don't have a you know it's my apartment is not that big and that's okay morgan it's okay um but i don't i didn't it will work okay it will work and then i don't gotta be crunching back and get my back all achy because child i be cleaning when i be cleaning and i be achy 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 for like two days so we in our soft soft girl area soft girl era like y'all young kids like to say okay um i showed you guys my dish shed. so there are some amazon boxes this is i believe my hangers let's double check because that box was extremely heavy when i bought it in oh gosh so yes they are the hangers so i got the amazon ba basics i got a pack of I ended up getting two packs of 100. Um, that's how these were sold. Um, they look really big. I like these. And they're supposed to be slim. Hmm, I like these. Um, the ones before I had came from like Home Goods in Jersey and they would always break. Who knows? These might too, but this is just easier. And the couple days before that I ordered these, I could not find sustainable amount of or large amounts of hangers and home goods and stuff like that so we ordered them off of amazon a pack of 100 costed and it ended up coming being cheaper because they were actually on sale for 27 dollars for a pack of 100 so i got two of those um that's that but then i also if i think 25 the paint pant hanger ones so i can hang up like skirts and things that just can't be hung up on a regular hanger but you can use these as a regular hanger too so i do like these um and these are amazon basics as well I forgot how much those were but that's everything you ooh, that was my little haul you guys um like i said now it's 3 20 and the day is going by so i want to do this today because i'm hoping that i can get my hair ready tomorrow i'm hoping them people will call me back and say i can come tomorrow because i really want my hair ready so that's gonna be my night and my day is just cleaning um i'm just i don't know if i'm gonna set up my tv so i can play my music i do actually have a speaker somewhere that I actually might use my 808. So, hmm. But already, you guys. But already, you guys. I'm talking now for almost 20 minutes. But I showed you guys things. I broke up the broke it up. I was just talking, and I didn't vlog yesterday. So I'm a dirty mess. I have not showered. I'm gonna be honest. I ain't shower, brush my teeth. I ain't do nothing today. Okay. Um, I've been on my mattress working and being uh, not depressed, but like in my feelings but i'm okay y'all so i'll check in with you guys a little bit later hopefully when we have some process progress or when i'm done um but i don't know but i will definitely check in later so hey guys what time is it 5 37 i look crazy at the bathroom well i deep did my deep clean the only thing that's not done in here finally clean wise is like i didn't sleep or back in the floors and mop it but wipes everything down finally clean the shower properly how i like it um it looks crazy right now because like i said i don't know if you can see this big old gate like this is all open like it's so short because i have moved the um shower curtain all the way up so literally it's just below the ceiling um that's still what i'm just cleaning with but I wanted to come on. Oh, and then, sorry. So I started to put stuff away. I actually emptied a box. So, like I said, like there's real, I'm trying to organize it, but the same thing, I'm still keeping things in the bags, how I came here with, just because I really don't, I don't know how I'm doing my drawers, but just to get stuff out the living room um so this is sort of like makeup and miscellaneous this is like my skincare one that is like my teeth whitening sticks and some um soap i don't know and then so my toilet paper and then random boxes of hair dye big old gel some shampoo stuff 
mirror, some clippers, lotion, skincare, feminine products. Oh, this is so empty. This is like hair products. And this is like hair tools and stuff. And then I put that up there. I think I'm gonna put medicine. This is actually, this is, I use this for makeup. I'm like, medicine. I'm like, girl, you damn sure use this on your face. Um, I don't even know. Like these drawers, they're deep, but at the same time, they're sort of small. So I have no idea how I'm going to organize them. I mean, technically all my stuff in the bathroom fit though. Like, it just needs to look better. Um, so that box is empty, completely empty. Um, but like I said, that's the good thing about that. This I'm probably gonna keep on the counter, possibly. I don't know where. Um, my new face, because it needs to charge. Oh, this I've had this forever. This is from Target. It's faux, obviously, a potted faux plant, but I just love it. I take it everywhere with me. Like, I think I had it at work, and then I had it in my room in Connecticut, then I brought it to New Jersey. I don't know, but my vision is to have something green like this, but like tall. Like, I want something tall right here. And then, my main reason for really putting you guys on because i'm about to put this in the shower i have bought this with amazon it's called kit shirts i don't think that's english okay yeah kit shirts shower caddy so like i said it was three pieces three two long pieces and um what is this a soap dish so i think i'm going to start off with just soap dish and one long one because in my head I'm thinking like what do I need they're relatively long I'm like I don't know if I need the second one yet so I'm gonna wait to do this because I want to do this when I'm right before or when I'm in the I don't know but my feet are dirty and I want to go from the tub and then out so yeah, I'm actually gonna pick you guys back up when I do this. <laughs> good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Y'all hear me? Oh my God, hold on. Okay. So it's Sunday, August 20th at 10.40 a.m. I did not pick you guys up at all yesterday, as you can tell. She got her hair braided. I love it. So I got small knotless. Um, and then I asked them to do it, like the braids themselves, very small, because I just wanted a light, light. I didn't want them to be heavy. I feel like they're still, they're nice and flowy. They're light. And that's what I wanted. Um, so I literally just woke up, so don't mind my face. But I like the braids, I mean, if like up here it may get a little scalpy, but the back I feel like my house is still a mess y'all see that, so don't worry about it. The back is not scalpy. Like it's still very full, even though my braids are thin. Um I went to Suwa S U W A, I believe. African hair braiding. Um I think it was on like I like you know, for me to find places, I hashtag search things at Instagram. It was Sua African Hair Braiding and Weaving, 12579 Richmond Avenue in Houston, Texas. Um, I think I told you guys how, oh, and they go like right above my butt. Sort of butt length too, but not too long. I pay for above my butt, okay? <laughs> um, but I told you guys how I have previously booked some some late girl I found on Instagram, but I'm just like, mm, it's at her house. I don't know the area, and I'm actually very happy I didn't go to her because um, I did have forty dollars to waste because I had to pay a deposit. But my safe, you know, just the feeling, have the feeling of safety, and just being at ease is more important than forty dollars. Um, and it's so funny because I didn't ask Lauren any beforehand, like, hey, what is North? northern houston or north houston and it was so funny so when she texted me yesterday how i was how was i and i told her like hey girl i'm actually somewhere i don't even know where i'm at um but i have an african hair braiding spot 
And then she was like, where? And I sent her to the location. She, I was like, is this, I was like, is this area okay? She was like, e it could be a little sketchy. But I was like, and then I told her how like I had previously booked a girl in North Houston. Oh, she was like, oh no. She was like, we try to stay away from North Houston. What did she say? North Houston. Um, so I'm actually very happy. I ended up going with my intuition um, and sort of listened to my mom. Cause my mom was like, mm, do you really want to be going to a girl house? And I'm like, huh, I think it should be fine. Let me go to my handy dandy Africans and they were cheaper. I only paid 340 for this, which is still expensive compared to like, if I'm going to one, two, fifth of Harlem or going to like African spots back in, on the Northeast. But I mean, technically this is not that, it's not that bad. Um, but you can find cheaper places on the East coast, especially in like New York. But for Houston, that's a deal. Okay. Because would y'all be charging for that braids and stuff? Lord, just I was like, let me just go to Africans. They know what they're doing, okay? And my braids came out good. So I'm happy. 340, I gave both the girls because I had two people working in my head. Um, I gave them both $20 sips. I think I did good. Um, I got there. I, my appointment was 230, but I didn't get there to 250 because I was running late yesterday. So we'll get into my sickness. But yesterday I woke up, I wasn't feeling great. And that night before I had washed my hair and like, I didn't even have deep conditioner. I just had some conditioner and I just let it set up overnight. And then, so Saturday morning I wake up and I feel horrible. I think I got sick because I left the AC on instead of, I just been using my fans. I've, I've used the air conditioner when I'm like cleaning, but I forgot to just turn the air conditioner off and then switch to the fans. Cause I feel like I get cool at night. Um, so I didn't do that and I think the mix of me with my wet hair just gave me a cold or something because um, I felt I woke up feeling horribly so it took me forever to get up and then I, having to finally get up to get ready for this appointment wash my hair I'll blow dry it I just I didn't leave the house at like 210 I had to find a bank of I had to find a bank to get cash out because you know they only take cash um, the bank was only like say if 10 minutes it was all the way down the street um but then the highway and there was no traffic it was just farther out without traffic it took 25 minutes when i got home when i left there at 10 o'clock at night so i got there at 250 i did wait though i don't think i started my hair till like 3 30 3 40 ish um because it was a packed house literally like packed packed but like they were moving the lady in charge of there was not playing oh my gosh it was so funny 3 30 3 40 and then i left there at 10 o'clock and then when I got back and then in the chair, I'm over here. and it got worse there because I had took like a Mucinex. I took some Tylenol before I left and I was like, oh, okay, I feel okay. My nose wasn't as runny, but then there, where I was sitting, like the air, the central air was coming right above me and the whole, I just got worse sitting there from say, say from 3.30 to 10. Like my nose started to run more, started to sneeze. Um, it just got worse from being in that cold air. So I literally came home, I wrapped up my hair and I went to bed. Um, and like, I still feel like crap. I'm about to run to the coffee shop and get some tea, like herbal tea. I'm hoping to have like some lemon, lemon, ginger, mint, something. Um, and then I'm gonna run a Target, Target to get some medicine because I don't have any medicine. The only medicine I had is like Tylenol Zyrtec. Um, and I, I think it, I, I, all, of, all of a sudden I got cold, cold like that, but I had stopped taking my vitamins just because I just, with everything going, like month of, halfway through July into August, like my, I've been all over the place. I have not been to the gym, have not been taking my vitamins, have not been eating good. I think that has a lot to do with it and a move of course, but so I did take my multivitamin. I took some vitamin C. I took vitamin D3. I just put in some, um, let me actually take a Zyrtec. I put some electro, um, my liquid IV in here. So I want to go to Target to get some liquid IV, um, Mucinex or Flonase. Cause like, I don't have a cough. I'm just really congested. Um, so I think I'm going to do, and I think, I think I'm going to get Mucinex cough drops. Cause I somewhat have a cold, but it's a dry cough. Um, I somewhat have a cough, but it's a dry cough. So I'm get like, I think Mucinex has um, tablets. And that's what I was on Tiki Tiki Talk to see what's the most effective stuff. So I think we get Flonase, cough drops, and just some liquid IV. Um, 
and then yeah hopefully i feel a little bit better i think i'm gonna come back and lay down to like 12 1 and hopefully i feel like okay to get up and do something i think i need to hydrate too i've been drinking water but not a lot so yeah but i just wanted to come up and give you a good update because i didn't pick up the camera yesterday i want to show you my braids and yeah i'm sorry i have no idea this vlog i haven't so far i have not showed you guys really nothing sorry but it's like when you're in it especially like cleaning like i'm just trying to get the cleaning done like i'm not trying to i'm sorry but it's like i can't move the camera to show you what i'm doing because then it takes up time i don't know but when i'm doing the closet maybe i'll show y'all that and when i finish the bathroom of course you'll see that i mean hopefully it comes together a nice whole habit in my head so let me go We're back in the house. It's 1227. So we were out. I don't even know how long we were out for. Oh, we're back. I don't think this is the right tea. I think they gave me turmeric. I don't know, whatever. But, like I said, I had stopped and got me tea. And I had got, um, like, a croissant, jalapeno cheese, and a and ham warmed up from the coffee shop downstairs then i went to oh, i'm hot we'll put this back and then i went to target um so i didn't even get a chance to drink the tea or eat my sandwich um because i was like let me just go into target really quickly um and then i was going to actually stop and go to Trader Joe's but I'm like Morgan you don't have your cart like you didn't even come to the refrigerator yet like that's not too a whole bunch of grocery shopping so I can show you what I did get I got some orange juice dried oranges Sinex Insta Soup Sore Throat and Cough Relief I had open this in the store a shower cap satin lined premium cotton ovals because I ran out of my clean skin club um you know sheets a while ago IV. I used to really love the original lemon lime flavor and then I tried strawberry and I love strawberry flavor. I got Fonase. I'm about to actually put this in my nose right now. I got some deodorant um, with aluminum because this heat, I need, give me the, chem, like I said, give me the chemicals because your girl be getting tired, okay? I finally stopped that. I just like trying things. I've had them before and like we have this back home but we don't have a drive through so hello i got me some panda express <laughs> i got the grilled honey sesame grilled chicken breast i think with the chow mein and i'm laying down for like an hour and hopefully i have energy to um do some things around the house and hopefully i can show you um i really should put this vlog up even though it's really nothing um well actually no i'm gonna put my vegas vlog up first so but I'm going to try to do that this week. The Vegas vlog will go up this week, hopefully, and then this will be, you know, after. That's the plan. But I haven't really showed you guys as much in here, but I guess that's okay. It's a learning process, yeah. Hey, good evening. It's 9.22, I'm just checking in. This camera's about to die, but I quickly want to show you because the other one just died and I never charged this one. But we made progress. This is basically clean. That's just the camera stuff. The charger, the tripod. That's just tea, my phone. But that is clean. I cleared this off. I vacuumed the floor, the bathroom. It's clean again. And this is the rug that I did. My shower curtain and liner, the white cloth liner, the white linen, like shower curtain the wrinkles will come out in the shower and i lifted it up so it's just kissing the floor i would like it longer but i can't so it's fine but that's the progress for the good day you guys i cleared out that bin um yeah so we're making progress these are technically can be gone but it's 9 22 i think i'm gonna take a shower and eat and lay in the bed but i just wanted to show you guys that i did make progress today um i am feeling a little bit better but i'm still congested i don't know if you can hear it but tomorrow is Monday. 
back to work but luckily it's a four day week because i have friday off and that monday off so thank god um but i'll check in with you guys tomorrow have a good night Through drought and famine, natural desire.